the shortcut for you to be a successful agile coach or a scrum master and the likes is hard work. If you are some sort of beginner in these roles and you're finding it difficult to get a job, well, it is difficult because none of these jobs solve for easy, simple things. You have long standing organizational issues. You're talking about helping teams and departments to be more effective, more performing. Do you think they're really interested in trying basic things that they haven't already thought about before or that they managers and their change managers already try to put in place? So they are looking for people with experience. If you just had a certification, if you just read a book, that's not going to cut it. Now, hard work means applied, aligned work. So even before you have the role, whatever you do right now, either with your church group, with your running group, with your team at work, you could be using many of the things that you learn, such as helping people collaborate, such as making the work visible and more effective, helping people to understand why and how to prioritize, helping people to look at conflict under a more positive light. That little experiment about pick daily huddle, for example, should you really just be fixing it to 15 minutes or is there a problem when you have 30 minutes? Is there a problem if you meet every other day instead of daily or is actually for the better? Is there an opportunity in there? Are you taking the notes? Are you reflecting on that? That is the sort of hard work of applied knowledge of growing and synthesizing your knowledge that's going to make you an amazing agile coach, scrum master and the likes. And if you're not doing it right now, nobody's going to give you a spot to start trying for the first time with the position of an agile coach or a scrum master. So if you're going through a framework or a technique or a concept, the point is go through the motions, not just accepting what is, but thinking about the possibilities, expanding your knowledge. Does it work the same with a particular group? Does it work the same when it is remote? If you're doing these things, that is the sort of hard work that really pays off, that really compounds over time. And that's going to be so important because not only you will have the knowledge, but I'll tell you, you will have the confidence of showing up for the difficult situation that as an agile coach, you'll be asked to show up for. Remember that and also think that this beginner space is the best time because the expectations are low and the risks are low. You are not really being tasked with heavier things. So you can really build your knowledge slowly as you go, tackling more and more complex situations in teams. And you get to have a more solid understanding of how things work. Even though you don't have the nomenclature, you are building solid knowledge that you can show proof of when you're asked to come into an interview. I've been to interviews where I literally had to have a retrospective with a team that I've never met in my life. I never knew what the issues they were facing were and boom, here is the team. Have a retrospective with them and we'll see how it all goes and if you like each other. So you can only put yourself in those situations and be really successful if you had already applied your knowledge before.